Donald Trump, real estate developer, TV personality, and moron, continues to lead polls in the race for the Republican presidential nomination. In fact, with the support of about 24% of registered GOP voters, according to a recent CNN poll, Trump's numbers are nearly doubling his closest rivals, Jeb Bush and Ben Carson. So where does the current Republican frontrunner stand on cannabis law reform? In the past, Trump expressed many progressive views to the left of even current Democratic presidential candidates, like calling for universal health care and legalizing all drugs. But now that he's running for president, Trump says cannabis legalization is a bad idea. When asked about Colorado's legalization policy at the Conservative Political Action Conference earlier this year, he told Fox News host Sean Hannity that it's bad. Medical marijuana is another thing, but I think it's bad, and I feel strongly about that. When Hannity asked about cannabis law reform as a state's rights issue, Trump explained that if the people vote for it, they vote for it. But they've got a lot of problems going on right now in Colorado. Some big, big problems but medical marijuana 100%. Of course, Trump didn't elucidate exactly what problems he thinks cannabis legalization has caused for the state, or what he would do about it if elected president. In an earlier interview with Hannity, Trump was full on reefer madness. Quote, some really bad things are coming out in Colorado in respect to people. A lot of bad information is coming. People are all in favor of it. And now they're saying it's having tremendously damaging effects to the mind, to the brain, to everything. So it's a big problem. Despite Trump's ridiculous opinions, the racist, misogynistic, xenophobic imbecile could become the next president of the United States. If Trump manages to pull it off, it doesn't appear as though he'll be a friend to the cannabis legalization movement. 